See, this is the very problem what's wrong with taking advice from normies. Yes, you always could jump out of the ice storm. If you couldn't, not out of the ice storm, out of the ice shower. To, to imagine that you should be able to root somebody for four, five, six, seven, seven seconds and have it and have you have the ability to do whatever the hell you want f for five or more seconds in a fight against an ice mage is just stupid. It needed to be it needed to be adjusted. And of course, someone in my chat foolishly tells me, like, just just check this guy out. He literally shows you everything that you needed to do. And literally within the first 15 seconds of this video, this guy illustrates perfectly what was wrong with Ice Storm. And we're going to take, of course, Ice Shower. What? Gets, Ice Shower gets increased from 20 seconds to 30 seconds. And this guy perfectly illustrates exactly what happens with Ice Storm. So everybody's like, just jump. Just jump right out of it. And this is exactly what happens. Literally in the first 15 seconds of this fight that he uploads, he shows exactly what's wrong with ice storm and this whole concept of just jump watch you can jump so he, he makes a little animation and this is exactly what happens jump jump and dead and this is exactly what happens in these fights and of course you even listen to him sit here and go lol you can just jump out of it and you just perfectly illustrated what was exactly the situation of playing melee characters against ice storm and ice shower and this is exactly what happens you sit here good 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 idea just just jump out of it as you're sitting there eating heavies to the face now and of course on the ptr the uh the heavy freeze is nerfed so then it becomes situational and there's another fight uh, and there's another fight right here where he's fighting what looks like either a heavy armored great axe user and now keep in mind he's in medium i just want to say he's in medium so you're giving up your mobility to try and tank some damage now if you try to go that route that is a, that's completely up to you i prefer in this situation you're going to need the extra mobility over whatever sort of extra th survivability you think you're going to get from medium armor because he'll only have one ability on his bar for mobility which is burnout meaning his back bar is designed to tank so if you foolishly misuse your cooldowns at the wrong situations that's entirely up to you you will lose a fight which he illustrates again i want you to show you this again he wastes he he utilizes the heavy attack freeze right there right you can see the freeze icon is right here the person jumps over it his ice shower is on cooldown mind you remember in the last fight he just keeps on freezing now this is silly he's not doing a lot of damage you can see right there he's doing 853 damage meaning that this guy is is fairly tanky so he might be in heavy armor and i would say that if you're fighting somebody who's in heavy armor and a great axe user and you're going to sit here and try to turtle on somebody that's in heavy armor you're, you're probably going to take an l and you can see right here and i want to illustrate the person's fairly low quite a bit lower than he is i can't see how much hp he has but if you remember in the last fight the moment the guy started doing that stupid whole little jump thing. What did he do? He dropped his ice shot. He dropped his ice storm. This time he didn't do it. And this is probably a mistake that a lot of players make. If you're going to run medium, this is a stupid mistake right here to do. Why are you pulling your opponent out of your ice storm? Why aren't you trying to move about in the ice storm? And of course, this is he's he has lack of mobility because he's not utilizing light armor. Of course, light armor, you're not going to sit here and tank someone who just gap closed to you there's a good chance doesn't have a rapier on his back bar he's utilizing ice so he's completely full glass full you know quote unquote glass cannon because he's got all a lot of damage abilities on his bar now he's using of course entomb entomb is such a crutch and a lot of players who use entomb typically crutch on entomb and it shows a lot about the gameplay he's got less dps abilities and more utility abilities on his bar doesn't really make a lot of sense um, to utilize this, it is a crutch, and people who, who crutch on it typically depend on it. Now, he, he's fighting against a melee build and doesn't have incinerate on his bar. So these are his choices. The game didn't force him to pick these abilities. He's choosing not to utilize incinerate against a melee build. That's your fault. If, you, if, you're, if you're fighting and your statement is that great axe users... Uh, and uh, great axe and hammer or great axe and uh, and hatchet are 
just gonna left click to you, then you should be you you should be using uh, incinerate against those players and deal a lot of, and deal a tremendous amount of damage. So that the moment you get into this scenario where you're stuck in this scenario right here, you can actually utilize uh, you can actually utilize those abilities to create a little bit of space. Now you'll see here as the fight goes on and again makes the exact same and this is what happens when you're in light armor had he been in had he been in light armor in this scenario that you're in right now he could have easily roll dodged behind the player and he instead he makes the same mistake again and pulls his opponent out of his aoe i don't know why you would do that of course he's trying to avoid a little bit of he's trying to avoid a little bit of the damage but as you can see in the trades the trades are not even and his 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 attacks are are fairly weak because this person is more than likely in heavy armor. And so this is a disingenuous fight to show how um, Ice Gauntlet is weak against melee builds. Again, I think this person more than likely is utilizing uh, heavy armor. And to sit here and be like that, you're, and th this was a huge, very close fight. As you can see, this person barely has maybe a heavy attack, maybe a heavy attack or two left before that person would die. This is by no means a... Uh, a face roll where just like lol you know you're gonna lose every time to somebody in this setup and as you can see this person almost nearly uh, almost dies had he stayed in his ice storm the person would have lost had he done some uh, had different and you look at his back bar was on cooldown his entire back bar his entire back bar in the fight is on cooldown had he had he had light armor he could have easily roll dodged back flipped over to incinerate flipped over to um, to burn out and gone right through his opponent before the opponent had the opportunity to react. But because he chose to be in medium armor, and I, I've watched one of his other videos where he was talking about how, like, he was showcasing how light armor was just shit, and he literally it was like talking to one of his friends, and he's like, "Here, let's sh shoot each other with the heavy attacks, and let's see he let's see who dies first. And I'm like, "Are you kidding me? Is this the test that you're actually trying to prove?" To show who can tank more damage, I was like, "You gotta be kidding me!" So I think his buddies were in heavy armor and he's wearing light armor, and it takes like ten heavies to kill him, and then it takes like fourteen heavies to kill his buddy. He's like, "Oh my god, you see, heavies are so much better!" And it's like, "Bro, the point of wearing light armor is to avoid damage. You're not there to tank damage." And this is what happens when you take advice from King of the Normies when it comes to PvP. You get shit like this with a whole bunch with a whole bunch of views for people who don't know what the fuck that they're talking about. I mean, you just watch the fight in the very beginning, and he literally illustrates in his own video everything wrong with Ice Storm, and then right in the very beginning, and just shows. Go ahead, you 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 take his advice. You try to jump out of fucking Ice Storm against a well built Ice Mage, and that's exactly what's gonna happen to you. You're gonna sit there and you're gonna die. You but well, wait a minute. What if it's uh, Zaryu? You, you told me I can jump out of it, and I fucking died. And then guess what? That's what's gonna happen to you. But ideally, melee when they lock you down, when you make stupid decisions like this, and these are all build choices these are build build choices and these are uh again he doesn't switch over his whole back bar is on cooldown there was a lot of different choices that he could have made when this idiot over here is sitting here hopping like look at this he has so much time where he could have switched over to his back bar again his back bar is completely off cooldown he could have easily switched over to his back bar and dropped his uh dropped his fireball he could have been he could have burned out to him he could have sat there and popped pillar of uh, pillar of fire on him for some extra damage. He didn't do any of that. Instead, he sat here and tried to sit here and pluck heavy attacks into a person who's barely taking any damage. Again, I have no idea how he's built because he's not dealing a whole bunch of damage. As you can see, he's dealing 900 damage on a heavy, which leads me to believe you're not you're not built very well. Oh, this person is a tank, and you got face rolled by a guy hitting left click. If you get killed by a guy. Hitting left click, and all you and you you can't think. Okay, how do I change my build to fight this person? And then you just upload this video as this is like an I win. He ha ha to the fucking developers that you don't know how to, you don't know what you're talking about. You are king of the normies. If you're sitting here losing to people spamming left click, and this is your proof, you're a normie, and you are exactly the reason why uh, you get face rolled in PvP because you take advice from people like this. 
showcasing literally in their own videos how you can kill opponents anyway i'm gonna leave it here i was just like deeply disturbed that somebody would sit here and tell me go watch this video and this video completely illustrates everything wrong with a lot of you normies out there